What's up everyone? This is CryptoBox. One another video. We create videos about blockchain games, NFTs, and more. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss big opportunities. So in today's video, we have a pretty cool game here. We have the Lost Throne, and it is the first play to earn mobile TCG with a player drive economy on the Binance Smart Chain. Here you can see that this is their Crystal Power address, as you can see. You have their website, you have their Twitter page with over 27,000 followers, which is pretty, it's actually pretty high for being a newer project. As you can see, they post, uh, you know, more than daily. As you can see here, uh, they have also the open beta, so you can join the open beta. And as if we read here, uh, there's going to be over 1 million uh, for their prize pool. There's going to be over 1 million dd coins over from their game this is their uh, game coin and uh yeah so this is their twitter they have uh you know it's pretty new the game is pretty new and uh the game is not fully out but they do have a mobile android app that you can go towards and you know try to use it uh but if we go over to their website as you can see this is uh, their website if we go to their home page you can uh, check them out on Steam. They're not, you know, out yet, but uh, since it's open beta right now, uh, but you can actually, they're gonna actually be on Steam and everything. And uh, if they're gonna be on Steam, Steam's a humongous platform. It's it is the biggest platform for PC gaming, and so uh, if it, they're gonna be on Steam, you know, that's a huge success. I haven't seen any uh, crypto games make it successfully to the Steam platform, so this is. This might be the first one right here. And if it is, you know, that's going to be a huge uh, major next step to, you know, crypto gaming or NFT gaming, whatever you would like to call it. Here you can see what is TLT, the Lost Throne. Uh, the Lost Throne is an MTG inspired play, to play for fun and play to earn trading card game that anyone can not only get the fun of the game, but also earn tokens through superb card skills and contributions to the ecosystem players can collect build battle and trade in this mysterious fantasy world full of swords and magic so as you can see they also have some awesome artwork back here they have some cool videos this artwork right here artwork here you know all their social media I have a bunch of social media I even have medium so you can go check that out they're also they're also audited by certic and if you don't know, being audited by Certic is like huge because if you're audited by Certic, that shows that you're more safe. You're already a step ahead because Certic is like one of the biggest auditing uh, platforms as of right now. And uh, you can see that the, like the language they were in is Solidity. You know, you can see everything about it. You can see uh, some findings or problems like a centralized uh uh, problems for you know how bad is it and everything so uh, they have an audit which is great you can see the core values of lost throne uh, you have co-creation we invite players from all levels to co-create content and gameplay to jointly define the future of nft games and players suggestions for improvement will help us to adjust the usability of nft games then you have the universality uh, where we build high, comp highly compatible NFT games based on efficient TCG development to keep expanding application scenarios with NFT. We also have sharing, so the vast majority of games revenue will be shared with and by the community. So it's not just going all to the dev team or something like that that you'd think of. They have, you know, tokenomics and that, you know, the tokens go back into the ecosystem and everything. Uh, you have the NFT assets and application scenarios jointly defined by the community. Expansions of Magic World genes to diver diversify the appearance of the NFTs and multi-quality card games developed based on NFTs and token systems. We also have, you know, their Gitbook, uh, all of these different uh, types of NFTs and, you know, their partners being partnered with uh, Yahoo Finance, you know, Steam, Tap Tap, all of these different, including, you know, Liberty Land, Blue Mountain Ventures, etc. Uh, you can also go over to their story right here if you'd like to know more about their story. As you can see, the Legendary wor World, The Return of the King, Story Archive, 
the different you know places over here it's very cool so if you're into into you know learning about story and gameplay and how you know it progresses you can read that you have the gameplay right here where open beta will be january 20th which is now already open beta so if you'd like to join the open beta go ahead uh check it out for yourselves uh here you can see the release date will be february 10th and the publisher would be shiva gaming so february 10th is upcoming soon too so it's a hundred percent free to play also being free to play gives up uh, gives more uh, flexibility for, for all those players that you know they don't want to invest or they uh, they just don't have the funds to invest and then you have the goal you have the system requirements so if you're on iOS you can play with you know these models or later Android Windows Mac so they specify everything and make sure that you can run this like let's say you're on Windows you're gonna have to have at least 7 8 or 10 uh, 64 bit Windows 10 uh, this type of processor, is processor, these types of uh, things. You have the NFT cards, as you can see, a bunch of them with uh, you know cool statistics and everything linked to them. You have their crystal power token, powder token, as you can see. Uh, crystal powder is the equity and governance token of TLT ecosystem and the only ownership proof of the game. So you know the game ownership. They talk about that right here. To prove ownership of the game, participate in TLT's play to earn system, users are required to provide liquidity to this crystal powder and BNB liquidity pool, and users must provide and stake liquidity of equivalent to the value of 1200 crystal powder at launch. The real value of this liquidity tokens may change over time, and the amount of liquidity needed to be held in order to play. TLT will might be modified through governance so then you have their tokenomics as you can see how it works so you have the crystal powder token you know goes to the L key which goes to play to earn uh, it talks and then it goes back into crystal powder back into the ecosystem like they said goes to transaction fees all of this NFT marketplace NFT cards selling um, all of this which is really cool that it's you know it's gonna go back into ecosystem and everything so it's you know it's, instead of getting burned uh it can just go back in here you have their you know auto report as we went through to, to get started and their market right here which is coming soon so if we go over to their white paper here we can read more about you know everything like the tokenomics the white paper uh, their dd token which they're gonna be doing you know a huge prize pool giveaway for their open beta and everything you have their roadmap uh, gameplay if you go all the way down we have their tokenomics as you can see like uh right here this is the initial distribution of crystal powder ranking reward pool to tournament contestants so all out of this as you can see like the initial proportion like let's say you were ranked one uh which is you know number of players what can only be in one so rank one means one player can only be there obviously you can't share ranks or whatever You'd see the average reward would be this much, 0.5%. They have the tokenomics, uh, like distribution. And they talk about how they're going to do this and give descriptions on it. You have the private sale, public sale, how it will work, what goes to what, marketing, team and advisors. You know, we have their crystal powder allocation investing with a total supply of 250 million tokens. And as you can see, like 10% goes to team and advisors, 70% goes to throne treasury, 3% goes to private sale, 4% goes to public sale, 1% goes to liquidity pool, and 12% goes to marketing. So if you can't tell by the marketing, they also want to do a lot of marketing and, you know, make sure this project gets the attention uh, and, you know, will be better. Here you have the Dream Dust token or their DD token, which they're going to be doing a million token uh, giveaway, which is awesome. You can see the tokenomics, like what's going to be happening. It goes to opening packs, shining cards, and then goes to playing the game and goes back into the DD token. You can see it's going to be exchanged between liquidity pool and back into the ecosystem and then goes to transaction fee. So you can tell definitely that this is very organized and you can like the more organized, the better, obviously. And then we have the roadmap right here. So in October 2018, the last throne team is founded and game development you know begins so all the way back in 2018 they started this project and they planned this out so it's obviously 
been in while it's been a while and that they're putting a bunch of time and dedication and this might be one of those longer term games where they will stick around for a longer time now please do your own research and don't take advice from youtubers i'm not a financial advisor and that you should always do your own research you can see like in january 22nd initiate the pvc pvp system and begin the first pvp if we go all the way over to like let's say um july the second game with a magic kingdom kingdom theme is launched and the third season begins allowing players holding crystal powder powder to build land and then the second tlt game is launched and etc so there is definitely a lot of things going on here and you can actually download their android app which is liberty land mobile app and you can go through these steps to uh, take part you can see the open beta testing is taking place on the test binance smart chain network so if uh, you don't use your actual binance smart chain wallet uh, use a test version so the test net and please don't you know deposit any real tokens and so on so if you'd like to go through this this will be linked down in the description if you'd like to try out their open beta version and etc so this is only on android as of right now so uh, just make sure you're you know on android before doing with you know spending time going through this and uh, yeah tell me what do you think of the last throne hopefully you appreciate this video and learn something new you can also join our twitter and discord server to be a part of our like-minded community and we're adding members to our team so if you'd like to join our team work with us and everything work around join the discord and send me a message or if you'd like if you have any questions you know join the discord a bunch of people can help you out there don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel and i'll see you guys later peace